Hey, John here from John's Do It Yourself. Real quick, if you missed the first part of this video where I install the JTEC 14 watt laser on my CNC X carve, um, probably want to go back and watch that first. Real quick, we're going to do the air assist in this video. Super easy process. I only ran into one hiccup. Hopefully, after watching this video, you'll be able to avoid that hiccup, unlike me. All right, let's get cutting. So, in order to do this project, I ordered two items. The first was the air pump. You can use any fish tank air pump. The one I ordered was specifically for the Fox Alien and Riser Mega CNC machines. Yes, I have an X carve, but I thought, hey, if it's designed for a CNC, I can probably make it work. The second purchase was the air nozzle for the laser. I got this from the JTEC webpage. The nozzle comes with a new face plate, so I thought, cool, I don't have to drill any holes. So now that we have everything you need, let's put this stuff together. So grab your JTEC laser. We will start there. The faceplate snaps out pretty easily. Just apply a little pressure with your thumbs by bending outward on the bottom of each side of the laser, just enough to allow the faceplate to slip past the grooves. Now take the air nozzle and find the accompanying Allen wrench and unscrew the Allen screw on the face of the laser box. Slide your air nozzle over the top of your laser and reinsert your Allen screw to hold the nozzle in place. After the nozzle is on tight, simply snap into place the new faceplate for the laser. Unscrew the nut on the face of the air nozzle that allows your feeder tube to attach to it. Take this nut and slide it onto the tube. Then push the tube onto the tip where you just removed the nut from. Once firmly on, you can slide the nut back down onto the air nozzle tip and tighten to secure your air tube in place. Okay, let's switch over to the pump. Remember when I said that I made a mistake? Well, when you go to purchase your pump, take a look at the power cable. I did this in haste and assumed that it would be plugged into my power strip. That was an error. The Fox Aliens have a specific port for this pump. When I took a look at my controller for an empty socket, I saw one, but I learned later that this was the reset switch on the back side, so I was unwilling to plug it in there. So pay attention to how your pump connects to power. Not wanting to be beat by this mistake, I looked to see how many volts this thing required. Luckily for me, it's in real big print on the front of the box. So, I pulled out my box of wires and looked for a 12 volt power supply. I actually had quite a few, but could not find one that the end fit in properly. They all looked like they should, but they did not. So my next step was to play doctor and splice the line. I took the pump wire and cut the connector off. Then I took the 12 volt and cut the plug off. I joined these two together. It's a simple process of just stripping the line together, twisting them, and then putting a bit of electrical tape over the joint. Now to see if everything works. I plug in my 12 volt adapter to my component board power strip and then into my pump. Turn it on and check for air. Yep, everything works great. I attach the air pump to the X controller box the same way I did the JTEC controller. I just used double sided tape. You can mount this on your controller board with screws just as easily. So seriously, this installation takes less than five minutes, that is if you're not a knucklehead like me and have to modify your pump power cord. So why should you add air assist to your laser? Well one, because it helps the machine achieve better engraving or laser cutting results. It does this by minimizing the heat around the laser head and it dissipates the heat where the laser contacts the workpiece. It also removes debris from around the contact point and prevents the workpiece from burning. And it extends the life of your laser. So right there, money-wise. So for the first test with Air Assist, I decided to engrave my own wallet. This is anodized aluminum. Just great results, even from an amateur like me. So as always, thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button.